Hey, what is up guys? Just a quick video on how to fight Black Panther Civil War. A couple of tips and tricks and some things I've learned and how to beat him effectively. Right, so the first thing that you do want to be aware of whenever fighting Black Panther Civil War is that if he has an armor up active, then if you stun him, you are going to get that stun reflected back to you. I think it lasts at about a two and a half second duration, give or take depending on mastery setups. Right, so just keep that in mind. Uh, another mechanic that he has as well that's uh, you, fairly unique is the reflect armor um, that he has. So when he builds up those charges and if he hits you uh, while those are active, then basically any damage that you dealt to him is going to re be reflected back to you in the uh, in a similar amount. That is going to ignore any armor up, including Iceman's ice armor where normally it's going to cap incoming damage at the you know, 5%. Even if you have that active, that is going to ignore that. So just keep that in mind. All right. So um, if you like using your parries, um, like using the stun, just make sure that you do so while he's got that armor up, up down. So a couple of ways to kind of avoid that is, first of all, use a champion like a Venom, like a Scarlet Witch, um, or even like Iron Fist or Medusa, somebody who can apply armor breaks on normal attacks or special attacks. Right, those are going to be helpful. Um, if you nullify those or if you add those armor breaks, then you're going to remove those as well. And that's going to help you out um, in fighting him, so you can just fight like you normally would. If you don't have a champion that can remove those armor up effects, those armor up buffs, then the best way to fight him is to... Uh, Keep some distance, so maintain a, a little bit of space between you and him so that you can avoid doing those uh, parries. Uh, there are times where you know, I've been trying to fight him and I've been too close to him and uh, he dashes in and as I try to do a dexterity I don't time it right and I actually end up blocking him and doing a parry myself and I get that stun reflected back to me. So by keeping some distance you're going to remove that possibility of, of accidentally parrying just because you don't have quite as much time to react. Uh, so try to keep Black Panther uh, at least with one bar of power so you can work on baiting out his special attacks and then attacking into him from there. I like to try to push him to a special two more so than a special one because I find the special two is a little bit easier to avoid. Uh, the special one, if you have enough distance, you're going to be able to dodge it pretty well. But if you're too close, then usually you can only dodge that first hit. And you want to try to block that second one rather than doing a dexterity of both. You can certainly miss both of them, but it's just a little bit more challenging when you're too close. Um, if you're keeping your distance um, here, then you know that special one's not going to be a big problem at all. Uh, because you can avoid that special pretty easily as long as you're, you're not you know, real close to him. Um, the other way that I've found to be effective is hit him to him a few times with your or while he's blocking and allow him to then start to initiate the contact with you uh, but make sure that you start your block a little bit sooner than you normally would if you're going for a parry so then that way you can be blocking his incoming attack rather than trying to parry him and you can pretty easily I bait him into using his special attacks. Uh, sometimes even if you just block into his, uh, or attack into his block there, like we see here during this fight, that he'll throw a heavy uh, while he's backed into a corner. He's not going to throw a medium or a light like, like a lot of the other AI uh, would. So, you know, just watch out for that. And as long as you avoid that um, heavy attack, you can dash into him right away, start your own combo, um, get him up there. So. Um, yeah, bait the specials, bait the heavies, and it's going to be a pretty easy fight. Um, other than that uh, passive charge that he gets, the reflect armor charges, uh, he doesn't cause a lot of damage. Honestly, his uh, attack is pretty low, so if you do get hit a few times without that reflect armor, then you're going to be probably just fine because he doesn't do a, a ton of damage. But if he hits you with those active then you're going to get wrecked pretty easily. It's not a lot of fun to get hit with those. Um, so yeah, just keep your distance while he's got the armor up active. Otherwise, use champions that can um, remove those. And if you have a choice 
on who to fight with, then you know, use your, your Venom, use your Scarlet Witches, uh, things like that. Anybody who can take those off there for you. Uh, another character that is actually pretty good at fighting uh, against Black Panther is going to be Mordo because of Mordo's mechanic where if he gets stunned um, then he's going to have his astral evade up and he's going to you know, evade that attack and apply a degen debuff so um, if you're using Mordo to fight him just make sure that if you do go to stun him while he's got the armor act up active then you know, make sure he's got less than one bar of power uh, the AI for Black Panther is at least smart enough to know that if he stuns uh, Mordo, then he's going to have that evade. If he's got a special available, he's going to throw the special and hit you, so it doesn't doesn't help. But Mordo can be somebody that you can uh, do your normal parries while he's got armor up active, and you're going to be just fine because of that astral evade. It, it's not a bad tactic, actually, if, if you run into somebody who's... Uh, giving you a little bit of fits uh, in arenas or in a regular quest. Um, probably not taking Mordo into Alliance War, but you know, who knows, depending on the situation, maybe you would. Uh, yeah, so there's a, a couple of things that um, I find to be helpful, and at least this is how I approach fighting Black Panther Civil War most of the time. Um, if you have any other new tips or if there's anything that I've missed, certainly uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, we can all help each other out. I hope that this video has helped you guys out. Um, and yeah, good luck in your fights against Black Panther Civil War in the future. Uh, comment below or send me a message in the line if you have, if you have any other questions or want any other information about fighting. Uh, good luck, guys.